Hey everybody, so I'm gonna show you who's on your Wi-Fi network and how you can block them. And then I'm also gonna show you how you can find devices. Let's say you're at a coffee shop and you just wanna do a, a scan of who's on there. I'm gonna show you how to write this little script that actually prints out like device IP addresses, their open ports, the type of device it is, the OS it's running, all sorts of good stuff. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you get subscribed because it really helps me out, man. Let's dig in. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna log into our internet router. So we need the router IP address. That can be found in your network preferences. So on the Mac, I'm just gonna head into the network, click advanced, click on TCP IP and that's the router right there. If I wanna do it from the command line, I'm gonna open up a terminal session, hit plus, paste in this nice little one liner and hit return and that will give me my router IP address. I'm gonna copy that and open up a Safari session. Paste that. All right, so mine automatically logged me in because I had already just logged into this router. So once you get logged into your router, most likely you're gonna have a section that says connected devices, attached devices, or what have you. Just click on that so you can see what's connected on your network. So I can go through this list and let's say I go through the list and I'm like, dang, that's a lot of devices. What the heck? You know, I don't feel like there should be that many. And I want to start blocking some. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the advanced section. And I'm going to click on security, access control. And yours might look like MAC address filtering or MAC blocking, MAC address blocking, something like that. All right, so let's say I wanna block one of these devices and I choose this, click block and, all right, so now that you can see that that device is now blocked, if I wanna select this section right here, block all new devices from connecting, what would happen is, let's say I give somebody my password to my Wi-Fi, they would log in and they would be blocked automatically. I would have to come in here and unblock them and allow them in. So now we're gonna hop into a little bit geekier section of the video and we're going to hide this. We are going to need to go download an application called nmap so we're going to go do that right now open up safari and head on over to nmap.org you can download microsoft linux and mac distributions of this software click download once it downloads open it up and we'll click on the package. We gotta modify the security. So we gotta open up system preferences, go into security and privacy, click on general pane and click it open anyway, because gatekeeper was blocking it. Click continue. All right, so now that we've got Nmap installed, which can be installed on Windows, Mac, Linux, doesn't matter, it works on all of them, we can start doing some of these commands. The first command I wanna show you is ARP minus A. And what this is gonna show me is it's gonna show me all the devices that are on the network that have broadcasted an ARP broadcast signal for this is I want to grab all these IP addresses and I want to use this nmap that we just downloaded to basically run a check on that IP address. So I'm going to copy that IP address. I'm just going to show you. Actually you got to do sudo nmap 
minus capital O, put in the IP address, All right, so what we see here is all of the open ports that this device has, the MAC address, what type it is, the OS version, the kernel version, and one thing to note is that sometimes these versions, they're not correct. It, usually the OS uh, naming is, but not the actual version itself. So, and sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. All right, so now that you saw how we can gather information from just an IP address, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna write a small little script that allows me to run this Anytime I'm out and about at a coffee shop or whatever, or I just want to run it on my home network, it'll allow me to run this check on all of these devices and output it into my window. All right, so we're going to just type in nano. All All right, so this one line is what takes that ARP command that we just did. I want to just create another window and gives us just the IP addresses. So I want just the IP addresses and I want to feed it into a while wow read loop to check against that end map, the network map utility. So we're gonna do All right, so let me explain this. So this first line gives us our IP addresses. Second line, we're passing that into a pipe that goes into the while read. It sets the IP address variable with that first line item, and it does this nmap it it for that IP address, and it greps device type, nmap scan running and open from the contents of the nmap results, then it echoes a line of these items to separate each of the return results. So we can do control X and Y to save this. I'm gonna save it to the Apple Ninja desktop. We're gonna name this network scan.sh. All right, so then all we have to do to run this thing is type an SH. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a sudo. sudo SH. And now we just let it run and it's gonna just output the information that we want. I want the IP address. I wanna know the open ports. I wanna know the device type. And I wanna know the running OS that's on that device. And that's how you run a quick network scan. And you can do this on your home network. Um, let me know if you're able to get this on multiple OS's like Linux and, and what have you. Is that slick? So now I've got a whole list of all the devices on this network. I know information about them. I know what ports are open on them. Super awesome. All right, so now that you know more about the devices on your network, now you should go check out the speed test video that I did so that you can make sure you're not getting gypped for your internet speeds. All right, you guys have an amazing week. Take care.